All right, video time. Today, we're gonna to be talking about lithium iron phosphate batteries. Let me show you. These are the headway batteries. We don't sell headways, but we do sell the bus bars, right? And so, of course, you know that we sell two versions of these, the uh, ones with the two American wire gauge uh, blocks, terminal blocks right here, like this one. And then we also sell them without the blocks. And today, I'm gonna to show you what you can do with the one without the blocks because we got in one of these battery boxes that are see-through and that just happens to work with the with the right size for this one right here right so i'm gonna show you what you will have to do and get to be able to put that in there so let's start this project all right so here's what you're gonna need you're gonna need to get the batter the battery box from uh glow voltage we'll put a link to their website here and then you're gonna have to make two custom cables. Now, this is not the only way to make these cables, but this is one way to make these cables, right? I used two American wire gauge and I went to one big lug here, right? And then I went to two smaller ones. And then these are at different lanes because then uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach it to different places in here. This is the negative terminal, this is the positive terminal. And what you wanna do is when you are trying to put uh, wires in here uh you want to space them you want to use several cables right we've talked about this in uh, previous videos we're talking about these batteries it just works better to distribute better the power right uh and so in this case we're going to use two the more cables you use the better distribution the power the less heat spots that are going to develop into these pcb bus bars right and so i the two is the i would say the bare minimum right and two american wire gauge kind of works for that and so that's why these are different lengths. And I'm gonna we'll show you right now how that works out here. Uh, also, so that means you're gonna have to get uh, 11 of these lugs and two of these wires and then like a uh, shrink tube and stuff like that. And then uh, you're gonna have to get a Heltec uh, balancer. It makes a, a good idea if you're gonna seal your battery in there, you wanna use a, a balancer so that it's always just fighting uh, against the batteries drifting apart in voltage, right? Um, because these, a lot of what you guys are doing are buying used batteries, right? If you buy the Super Bs module, they all come from the same module, they all have the same life, then you shouldn't have to worry too much. Those cells are very close matched together, right? Match. But sometimes uh, those are uh, out of stock and what you end up having to do is buy the cells separately. Uh, like it's the case of these ones right here. These ones I think are cells that I bought uh, you know, along the years separately and so they vary somewhat in specs right their health of the batteries at this point because they're used and they're sort of towards the end of their life or whatever that's why we can get them super cheap then this is a good idea because it will keep them from drifting too far apart you know where it will damage them so this is a good thing you will have to put uh ring terminals in there so that you can connect them in here and i'll show you there's five cables i'll show you where to connect those in here in the board uh let's start this build by installing this balancer okay so step one we're gonna mount the balancer on top of this battery and really there's not a lot of space to put it on the side so we have to put it on the top so I'm gonna use this. This is called fish paper and it has uh, adhesive on one side. And this is just to isolate this unit, right? So it doesn't short out. So, and then that way we can put this unit right here. I'm gonna use Captain Tape. Ooh. So now to connect the four lugs in here. Okay, so first the black and the red go to the black side and the red, the positive uh and the negative sides right so we're gonna connect those first and i'm just gonna use this uh lug here at the very end the screw and we're gonna put it in there so we're gonna loosen it up so the the black one we're gonna put it right here there we go then the red one okay next we have the three cables in the center so the yellow one is going to go here and the mid pad so next is gonna be the green one, which is gonna be right where the black end is at, right at the bottom over here. So we'll have to flip the battery on the side and then attach those from the bottom. The green one is gonna go right here. Yeah, so I'm gonna go on the second one here. 
Okay, so the this is two pads on the bottom, so it goes on this pad right here. here. And then the white one goes on the other side of the red cable, right? The red one right here, so this one's next to that. So the red cable is on the bottom here row. So then this one goes on this pad right here. It's only five cables, it's not that hard. So next you connect this uh, connector right in here. Okay, now we use some zip ties. All right. Next we're gonna install the cables and I'm gonna skip one, two, and then on the third one and the same thing here, one, two, and then on the third one. So we're gonna have to uh, take these, loosen them. I just tape that end right here so it doesn't, I don't accidentally short it out because this is uh well this is a lot of current also keep in mind that while you connect this then this one becomes live so be very careful okay so this one same thing here we're gonna take this loosen them so now we take the top of the box take the screws that came with the box, screw those on there, right? So this is gonna go this way. So we could just not short anything. There we go. Now if you accidentally touch that in there, it's not gonna blow up on you. Put some Captain Tape on this side also. Okay, so now we're probably the best way to put the battery inside. It's gonna be to put this one on its side here and then just push it in there. There we go. There we go. Take this. The cool thing about this box is that, well, it's, uh, it's screwed together, so that means you can service it, right, later on. You don't have to glue it like a lot of them uh, that come from China. And also is that it's got the seal that you should be able to uh, have it weather, weather tight, weather sealed, right? So now we can put the screws. Last but not least, you got to put these little things in here. That's just to cover the little screws. All right. And there you go. This is one quick, easy way that you can house your 64 amp hour uh, headway battery right this is uh 32 cells uh it's good for about 400 to 500 amps i think right depending on the condition of the cells again if you're using u cells or if you're using new cells it's going to make a big difference as to how much power it'll be able to put out or whatever but yeah if you want to put this in your car there uh now it's all of a sudden it is protected and uh you don't have to worry about it now glow uh voltage has some led kids that he sells i think i hope that he makes some for this box in here so they can put them inside and then you know they light up and stuff in case you're interested in that for you know just to put it in your car and make it look cool these batteries look pretty cool right i mean they they look serious they look like uh they're you know that's where the power is coming from from your audio system so yeah you know if you want to showcase your battery like that this is a perfect case we're gonna put a link to this case in the description, uh, a link to the balancer and a link to our bus bars and then the cells, you know, basically everything that you need to put this together, right? Uh, the cables and the lugs and stuff, we're gonna just link them to Amazon so you can uh, get the right sizes and the right amounts and stuff. So there you go. Thanks for watching this video. We'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.